Do you see that? Do you see that crack? I accidentally stepped on my Slate headphones during the filming of this video. But when I push them in, they seem to still work. I have to be very gentle and quite delicate. Thankfully, they're still working. But that's the theme for today's video. Not so much harming your equipment, but using headphones and pairing it with software to your advantage. And here at Legacy Studio, it is my goal to help you, the viewer, to up your media game, whether that be taking better pictures, photography, better video editing, and for today's topic, using headphones and music production to up your mixing game. If you're excited and ready to talk about it, let's go. go. Hello, I hope this finds you healthy and well. If you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by and let me introduce myself to you. My name is Paul, but you can call me Paul the Fifth. 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 Welcome to my channel, Legacy Studios Nash. As you just saw, I was wearing headphones and listening to some software and that emulates different studios around the globe. That's what today's video is all about. Headphones and using this software or headphone emulations to pretend like you're in that control room to help you to get your mix from here to here. The reason I'm making this video is times are still tough. Not a lot of us are privileged to go to a dedicated studio space every day. Some of us may just have a laptop, headphones, an interface, and maybe a decent mic. But in today's environment, that's really all you need and a little know-how. So today, I'm gonna to be giving you that know-how on this software. So who is this video actually for? Well, it could span a wide variety of folks within the music industry, but let's narrow it down to just about three or four. Maybe you're the first time owner of a brand new MacBook Pro, or maybe the new M1Xs that just came out, and you wanna learn more about music production, you're doing this in your bedroom of your parents' home. This could benefit you. Maybe you're a college student going to audio school, possibly on fall break, you're doing the bedroom producer thing, this could benefit you. Maybe you're a big time studio engineer and you're traveling from maybe Nashville to New York, maybe from New York to Los Angeles, and you're on a plane. You need somewhere to mix, but don't have the best environment. This can benefit you. Let's say you're a live sound engineer and you're wanting to tweak some songs from the previous night, some of those multi-tracks in the back seat of your bus and you don't have the greatest mixing environment, this could be for you. Maybe you're someone that wants to learn more about audio production, studios, and mixing environments. This can benefit you. I'm gonna be showing you five different headphone emulations. We'll be taking a field trip over to the Waves website. We're gonna be looking at the NX series. I have about four of these products. I'm gonna share with you what I got first and go on down the line. And then we'll continue on with the field trip and go into the BSX site taking a look at the Slate Digital Headphone Modeling Series. And they too have some major studios and some other cool things that I wanna show you. There's a lot to talk about, so let's go ahead and dive into this. If you're able, join me on the Waves website. It's waves.com. One of the very first things we'll see on their website 
is V13. It's the newest version of Wave Central. Version 13 allows you as a user, if you have an M1 Mac of any kind, maybe a MacBook Pro, a Mac Mini like I have, or an M1 iMac, version 13 now is compatible with the ARM processors. Thank you so much, Waves, for finally getting this accomplished. It only took a year, but thank you. So what is NX? It allows you to use headphones, certain headphones, and it allows you to pretend like you are in the actual control room of a big studio. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Waves actually makes their own headphones. They start off at 390, go up to 399, and up to 429. Wow, why so expensive? Well, these use a technology and you have a Bluetooth tab that you can put up here and it connects and it coincides with the camera in your computer. Let me show you. So when we go to our master fader and we click on NX, we enable it. We notice we have some speakers here and then you have your head icon. When you purchase this software, it'll have you download this head tractor. And it looks like this. So you can see that anytime I make a head movement, it actually tracks your movement because in some of these emulations, you can actually turn the control room around. I'll show you that here in a minute. If you feel inclined and you have the budget and you want to support Waves, if you one of these expensive headphone modelings, be my guest. But let me show you some more affordable options. Right here, for $29, you can get the basic version of NX. It's a virtual mix room over headphones. So let me pull up a logic session real quick and show you how to do this. In your DAW, what you wanna do is put one of these plugins as an insert on your master fader. Right here, I've got the basic version of NX. What you can do for your camera tracker is right here, you can choose your camera. I'm using the built-in one on my MacBook Pro. Right down here on the bottom is where you can choose your headphones. I happen to be a big fan of the Sennheiser HD 280s, and those are listed in here. You can scroll through a wide variety of headphones. There they are, I choose that. And what you can do is you can listen on these, kind of limited on things, but it does give you where you can change your stereo field. That's pretty cool. Pretty basic. Let's move on to the next one that I got here. Now let's take a look at a little more advanced plugin, and this one is probably my favorite and it emulates one of the most famous studios in the entire world, Abbey Road in London, Studio 3. Let's pull it up. So this console is their SSL console, and you have three different types of speakers to listen to. You've got the near fields, the mids, and far fields. And again, you can choose your headphones. I'm using the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. I usually keep my level right here about Unity or a little bit less than that because sometimes it peaks out. One of the cool features is you can actually take this, move the studio all the way around you. And this feature comes with most of the higher end NX plugins. Let's take a look at another one. This next plugin is kind of special to me. It emulates a studio right here in Nashville, Ocean Way. Let's take a look at this. So this emulates one of the studios there in Ocean Way, two speaker sets to monitor on, the HRS and the HR1. And then again, here is where you can choose your wide variety of headphones. Again, I keep this on Unity. Here's where you can move this all the way around. That is so cool. And once you actually do that for the first time, it's gonna blow your mind. It's gonna freak you out and you're gonna be like, what the hell just happened? But it is so cool and it really will let you listen to things you never heard before. Let's move on to yet another incredibly famous studio, Chris Lord Algae's Mix LA in Tarzana, California. Here we go. Chris Lord Algae has an SSL, I think it's the 4000E, but he's got three speaker sets to choose from. You've got a sub, which is really cool, his mains, and then you have a boombox, which is rather interesting. You've got your speaker set here. And I forgot to mention this, but on all of these, you do have a spot down here where you can actually measure your head. You can take one of those measuring spools or a tape measure that goes around your head. You can measure the circumference of your head. And there's a spot where you can actually type in the dimensions of your head and distance from ear to ear, and it gives you a more accurate representation of each studio space. It's amazing. I don't know how these engineers came up with this, but it's flipping cool. And then again here, you can turn this all the way around. Here's all his outboard gear and guitars. I really like this one. The low end is really good. It's a little exaggerated, so it's not a full mix. So you wanna, in my opinion, 
kind of reference some of these other ones just to make sure. Do your speaker test, get your cell phone out, put it on a Bluetooth speaker, play it in your vehicle, stuff like that. Now, let's move on to the Mac Daddy of Mac Daddies. This is the Slate VSX headphone monitoring system. I've been using it since October of 2020, right as it came out, so right at the one year mark. I wanna go over some of the pros as well as some of the cons of this product. I also wanna share with you my favorite monitoring system. Do you have VSX? Do you have this? If so, let me know what your favorite monitoring system is in those comments. This is a Slate VSX headphone series. Now this emulates some major studios here as well. Now when you get these, you can either buy them in full, I think they're $479.99, or you can do a monthly rent to own. When you make this purchase, you get your own dedicated set of headphones. It comes with your thin cable, comes out right here. You can plug that in. Any standard 35 millimeter jack works. These are great, they're lightweight. Once you use these for the very first time, they're flat. I mean, they are flat. They're gonna sound very different. Listen to these for a couple of days. It takes time to get used to these. But when you use these monitoring systems, these are legit and they will help you elevate your mix. I'm telling you, that is a fact. So let's take a look at some of these. You can get these headphones on the VSX website as well as a couple other retailers that I'll mention. Quick word about the Slate VSX headphone systems. Steven Slate lives out in Los Angeles, so he has emulated studios out in that area. If you have questions about any of these headphone modeling systems that I'm talking about today, or you have any further questions, the links will be all in the description, and you can email me at LegacyStudiosNash at gmail. You can also get them from Guitar Center. If you're in Nashville, hit up my guy, Greg Glazer. He's my GC Pro Rep. Shout out to Greg. Thanks so much for all your help. And these are also available on my favorite website. You already know, sweetwater.com. If you call, hit up my personal rep. His name is Matt South. He'll take care of you, I promise you that. So what happens when you go to the VSX site, you download the software, they actually give you a specific code for these. It comes in your box and you actually put that code in the software and that takes you to a page where you can actually download all the software. Let me show you these different studio emulations. What you can do is you go to browse rooms. There are two new headphone emulations, including Steven Slate's personal mix room in LA. Then we have the Sonoma Studio. I can't wait to check these out. I just got them downloaded recently, so we'll check them out here in a few. So let's check out BSX. Just like the Waves plugins, you would put this on your master fader or your stereo out. I've got that right here. We'll turn that on. The first thing you'll see is browse rooms. We'll go there and we'll check out Steven's mix room. So the way this is laid out, you've got your near field monitors here. You've got your mid fields and then you've got your far fields. And then you've got your volume control here. Here's your depth. You can make it full or low. If we hit command click, puts it right back to unity. And here's your level match bypass. You can go down like this, or you can bring it up. And again, I like to keep that at Unity. Here's something that's very cool about all these. If you click on the EQ, you can actually take your lows down, uh, your low mids, your mids, your low highs, and then your highs. You can adjust those all here. And that's pretty much the basics of VSX. And then you go to browse rooms and we'll see the different rooms here. Let's explore these. So that's Steven's personal mix room. Let's check out Sonoma Studio. All right, so this one only gives us two sets of speakers to choose from. You've got your near field and then your mid fields right there and there. And then your volume control, same thing, depth, level bypass match. And then you've got your frequencies there. I listened to Steven's mix room right before making this video. And I have to tell you, I'm really, 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 really digging it. But here in a few, we'll go ahead and check out all of these one by one. You have the famous NRG Studios in Bakersfield, California. Hell yeah. This one is probably my favorite of all. Almost. There's another one that I really enjoy a little bit more. And I'll tell you why. You have your near field, mid field, and far field monitor. Here's where you can change the volume. You've got your bypass right here. Let's go to the next room. This one is dope. It's a little bit different. It's very flat again, but it gives you a true honest mix, kind of like KRK speakers. This is Howie Weinberg's Mastering Suite. Here's your bypass level match. Oh my gosh, this one's great, I love it. Moving on, you have a high-end quality SUV. 
Right here, it's just flat, your bypass. We have an LA nightclub. I've been to Los Angeles one time in my life. I was 15, it was our spring break, and my dad's company got sponsored to go out there for some kind of construction conference. So while he was doing the conference, my mom took us to the La Brea Tar Pits. We got to check out different things. We went to see the Joshua Trees. Ah, oh, man, I love that city. I'd love to go out there someday, and I would love to visit Capitol Studios. That's on my bucket list. All right, so let's check this out. We have your flat, your bass, your volume again, your depth, your level match bypass, and again, here's your different EQs. We will listen to this here shortly. It's tied between Howie Weinberg and this one for me. This one, something about this room and this emulation really lets you hear things that you've never heard before. Like it really brings out some clarity, it brings out punch, and you can hear everything in that frequency spectrum from 20 hertz to 20K. Well, I can't hear 20K, I can't hear past 16, but that's for another video. Moving on, and now we have Archon. This one here really makes you focus and zone in and listen. You will hear things in this studio emulation that you probably hadn't heard before. Let's check it out. So again, we've got your near fields, you've got your mid field, far field, volume control, your depth, your level match bypass, and again, your EQs here. Whenever they did this modeling on this studio, Space After an Engineer, I can't pronounce his name, I think he's Italian, but he made a two minute and like 43 second video. You should watch it, I'm gonna put it in the link in the description. It'll really help you kind of understand the modeling on the studio, but this one is incredible. We have another electric car possibly a tesla i don't know that one's pretty cool to let you test a mix in a vehicle this one here the audio file again i'm blown away at this one i just gives you one set the far fields are kind of pushed back a little bit in the room but again really lets you get an overall rounded mix and it lets you hear things that you need to correct if you've got problems moving on boom box this is my favorite one of all I know I've talked highly about everything else, but this is my favorite. You know why? My dad is old school. He still listens to boom boxes. He plays saxophone. I say he should have pursued that passion and went with it. But my goal in life is to own a studio and bring him and his buddies here to Nashville to record an album for free and release it. That is my goal in life. I just want to make my dad proud. I do. But this gives you a really incredibly true mix on a boom box. Moving on here. Oh, there's an ambulance in the background. We have one, two, three, four, five different headphones. Check this out. This is for like a Samsung, another Samsung headphone, HD linear. I don't know what that is. And then these are some pods, like maybe Apple pods or something like that to give you emulations to listen to your mix on. These are dope. I've got a couple others that I'll list in the description box. And if you want more information, I have all that in the box there as well. One thing I do need to mention is when you go to bounce or export your session, you want to make sure that you have those turned off because if you have that when you're rendering or bouncing your session, that's going to F up your levels totally. So you want to listen to this when you're actually mixing or mastering, please. Make sure to turn it off when you are bouncing your session. I'm a Logic user. This also works in Pro Tools. I have Studio One. I use it a little bit, but it is compatible there as well. All right, so now that we have talked a little bit about what NX is, as well as the VSX series of headphones emulations can do, I wanna take this part of the video to dive in just a little bit deeper. I know we're getting kinda of long in the video, but if you've watched from the beginning up until this point, I thank you so much. I feel like this part of the video is going to be the most beneficial for you as the viewer. What I'm going to do is pull up each plugin. We'll start at Unity, meaning everything is at zero. It'll help you make an informed decision on which plugin you might think sounds the best. What I'm going to do is I've got a clip from measure 13 into 17. I've got it in a loop. We'll start on these plugins here from basic to more advanced. I'll show you some more features about these plugins and then we'll A-B things. Let's go ahead and get started. Getting things rolling with the basic NX here, we can move our speakers from here to here, we can move them from here to the side, and we can move them behind us. Let's check this out. Right 
right here. Rotate. Pretty cool, not too bad for a basic $29 plug-in. Let's move along here. Abu Road Studio 3, starting with our near field monitors. Mids. Far field. Moving this around. I'm a big fan of those mids. Let's move along to the next one. Oceanway HRS. HR1s. Moving it around. Ambience. Level. Unity. I like that one too. It has a little bit more of a overall mix to it, I think. Let's move on to Chris Lord Algae Studio. He's got three different speaker emulations. He's got a sub. We'll start with that. Do you notice how that's really brought out and a little bit exaggerated? Here's our mains. A boom box. A little more flat, kind of in mono. Let's move this around. Ambience, down, up, unity. What'd you think about that? It's different, but it really makes you focus and zone in on different things. Right. Time for VSX. There's a lot here, so we'll try to get through this as quickly as we can. Starting with Steven's Mix Room on Near Fields. Wow, very narrow, flat, kind of like in mono. Midfields. Yeah, this, this brings it out. You can hear that punch of the kick, everything's just well-rounded. Bar feels. Depth, lower, full, unity. EQ will take the load up. We're peaking. Again, I have to favor this midfield on Steven's personal mix room. Let's check out NRG near fields. Really hear that kick drum. Mids. Drums are a little more brought out. Far field. That really brings up the overall volume. It's a lot. Mm. Bigger, of course, being a bigger speaker. Depth. Full. On NRGs, I have to say I'm a big fan of these far fields. That does it for me. Howie Weinberg's Mastering Suite. Uh, there are two modes since this update. There's the engineer and then you have a client mix. Let's check out the engineer mix. Again, very thin, kind of flat. Really makes you listen to that frequency spectrum. Client. I think I prefer this one. Depth. Full. Engineer. Client. I definitely prefer the client one on that one. The SUV. Depth. Full. Bypass. 
that's a very unique one to be able to monitor or try to emulate a high-end SUV. Archon, starting with our near fields. Overall, I feel like this already is a good, well-rounded overall mix. Mids. That kind of brings out some of the mid-range. Farfield. Kind of brings up volume a little bit because they're bigger speakers. Depth. Bypass. This one, fan of the midfields for sure. Sonoma. We've got two, we've got our near fields and then midfields. This is my first time actually listening to this one. I really dig that. Okay, it's definitely this midfield for me. Depth, low, full. Unity. Okay, this one is definitely the midfields. Here's our electric car. As you know, it's just flat again. Depth, full, unity, bypass. Kind of like mixing in mono again. And here's audio file. Just the far fields. Depth, full. I don't know, and this is probably close to one of my faves, but here comes the boom box. I don't know, I feel like this is my fave because it really takes me back to those times when I was growing up as a kid, listening to music on a boom box. And if you can get something to sound good here, not everyone's gonna listen like on your iPhone or you know $80,000 pairs of studio speakers. If you can get something to sound good here, you can get it to sound pretty good on most other speaker systems as well. Real quick, let's take a look at our in-ears. Oh yeah, we can't forget the LA Club, flat. Flat. Yeah, that really kicks in. All right, now for the in ears. Kind of narrow on the, the mids a little bit. I really like this one. Two here, the LCD two. The four. Definitely a fan of the four. It's more rounded, overall better mix. 770s, 80 ohm, really hear that attack and punch on that kick, 250 ohm, pull things back a little, kind of like mixing in mono, these pause, definitely a boost on some of the high ends, these are wired, wireless, the HD linear, Definitely bring some of the high end down, it's a little muffled. HD Linear 2. All right, and there we have it. We went through everything from the basic NX all the way up to the VSX headphone systems. 
has a lot to cover, but we checked them all out. Before we wrap things up, I wanna take a quick minute to talk about some of the pros and cons of both of these headphone emulation systems. Let's start with Waves. I feel like some of the pros include you have a wide variety of plugins to choose from and price points from $29 up to $429 for the complete headphone package. You have the basic Waves NX, you have Chris Lord Algae's Mix LA, you have Studio 3 from Abbey Rose, and you've got Ocean Wave. Each has their own benefit, different sound and characteristic. Another pro of the Wave systems is, depending on what current headphones you already have, they may be compatible with these plugins. I'll put a link in the description so you can check for certain. Let's talk about some of the cons of the Waves plugins. You only get one license. So if you purchase a license for one of these plugins today, you have one year from now from that purchase. If you purchase one next week, you have one year from that date of purchase. After that, your plugin may show up, but it will tell you you have to renew that license. In my opinion, I don't like that too much. The other downside is you can only keep these plugins on one computer at a time. If I wanted to move things from my MacBook Pro over to my Mac Mini, I could do one of two things. I could store these two in an external hard drive, or I could send those up to a cloud, get on the Mac Mini, and download those from the cloud. That's something nobody really wants to deal with, at least not this guy. Now, let's talk about the VSX headphone system. There's a lot of pros and not many cons. When you purchase these, you get your own dedicated pair of headphones. It comes with your own dedicated code, so that way you can go to the VSX site and download these specifically for you. That way nobody else can take your code, try to get that software. It's very protected and I like that. The other benefit, just like Waves, you have a wide variety of studios to choose from. Here's one benefit over Waves. Once you've created your Slate account, you can go to that account and in the software, you can update to these new future plugins that come out. That, that in itself outbeats Waves in my opinion. The other cool thing is price point. They run $4.79 or you can pay monthly installments of $39.99. If you want more questions, I've got the link in the description for that. The one kind of con about these, they are very flatlined. They made them that way for a reason. They want you to use these and pair them up with the studio systems. They give you that overall better sounding mix so you can really zone in and focus on things. The one thing about these is it takes a while for your brain and ears to kind of coincide. So my suggestion to overcome that, if you get these, just listen to them to whatever it is that you do. If you're watching YouTube, watch my page, go watch some of my future videos, just to plug, listen to, if you listen to music, if you watch Netflix with your honey, whatever it is that you're doing, washing dishes, doing laundry, any household chores, use those. After a point, you'll get to where everything sounds a little more normal. So this has been my review of the pros and cons of both of these headphone emulation systems. Wow, isn't that crazy that you can take some headphones, pair up with some emulation software, and get the feeling that you're in that multi-million dollar studio? Well, that is the reality of today's mixing environments. You don't have to go to a multi-million dollar studio, you can do things at home. Hence where I'm at right now. Did you notice that was behind me? Did you notice him from scene to scene cutting in and out? Yeah, so there's a reason for that. It wasn't just poor editing. I'm dropping hints for what's to come in the future. As we are rolling into this new season, I'm gonna be taking a step back into time and revisiting some old mixes to share with you. I wanna show you how poorly they were recorded and how terrible I sound. And then we're gonna go into some details using some headphone systems and some other things to make those mixes go from here to here. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching up to this point. If you're new here, appreciate those thumbs up. Think about subscribing, smash that button. It only takes that amount of time. And I'll see you in the next one.